Narendra Modi calls for a decisive fight against terrorism at Howdy Modi event in Houston. Modi to address you in General Assembly. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh says the growth rate of gross state domestic product doubled since last year. Mekhale Urban Affairs Infrastructure Development initiates organizing garbage fishing competition at Nongpo to clean drainage. Nine persons died and 15 injured in a major road accident on NH37 at Hasra Seoul under Dimo Police Station of Sipsaga District and in Cricket. South Africa beat India by nine wickets in the third and final T20 International in Bengaluru last night. Good evening viewers and welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Sukanya Bharadwaj and now the news in details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given a clarion call for a decisive fight against terrorism and its proponents. Addressing historic Houthi Modi event attended by 50,000 Indian Americans at Houston last night, the Prime Minister said time has come to wipe out the menace of terrorism. US President Donald Trump also joined him in a rare gesture of friendship. Without naming any country, Modi said whole world knows who is aiding and abating terrorists and President Trump stands solidly in the battle against terrorism. Modi said India's decision to nullify Article 370 has caused trouble to those who cannot handle their country. Addressing the event, President Trump said they are working to eradicate terrorism. Trump praised Modi government's economic reforms and said these reforms have lifted nearly 300 million people out of poverty. Apana desh samal nahi raha hai. In logon ne Bharat ke prati nafrat ko hi apni rajniti ka kendra bana diya hai. Ye wo log hain. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has arrived in New York during the second leg of his week-long U.S. visit after an unprecedented and historic visit to Houston. He will address the 74th session of United Nations General Assembly and participate in other multilateral and bilateral engagements. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will today participate in UN Secretary General's Summit on Climate Change. He will also attend a high-level meeting on universal health coverage and leaders' dialogue on strategic responses to terrorist and violent extremist narratives at the United Nations headquarters. The Prime Minister will also inaugurate Gandhi Solar Park at the UN headquarters at Gandhi Peace Garden later in the day. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said the growth rate of gross state domestic product GSDP has doubled from 4% in 2016-17 to 8% in 2018-19. This was stated by him during the press conference held at Chief Minister's Secretariat on Saturday. Briefing the media person, Chief Minister stated that the state-owned tax revenue has steeply increased from 587 crores in 2016-17 to above 1,000 crores in 2018-19. Such results shows that with the advent of the present government, there is economic growth in the state, he added. Such pace of development and growth would transform Manipur into an advanced state in near future. During the press conference, Chief Minister said that the government is planning to legalize cannabis solely for the medicinal and industrial purpose. Chief Minister announced that under the Startup Manipur scheme, a new program called Startup Manipur would be introduced to provide soft loans to SC, ST, OBC minority entrepreneurs of the state. In Meghalaya, Urban Affairs Infrastructure Development under the initiative of Rebhoi District Administration organized a garbage fishing competition at Nongpo Main Market where more than 100 anglers participated. The competition was first of its kind as catch to go for was not fish but garbage. It was a sight unlike any other as the anglers lined up along the huge drain and started to fishing out the garbage. The spectators cheered as the competition got intense and more and more garbage were fished out of the drain. Experiencing such event for the first time ever, the crowd as well as those participating had something new to witness, experience and pass on the message of solid waste management.
in a major road accident that took place at NH37 at Thastra Seoul under Dimo police station of Sipsagar district today morning, nine persons died and 15 injured. The accident occurred due to head-on collision between a public bus and a traveller. Out of nine deaths, seven have been identified as Purna Kanta Sharma Tinsukya, Hiranjuti Setia Dhemaji, Subrata Bora Dibrugar, Saurabh Sharma Sipsagar, driver of the ill-fated traveller Biki Kalita Dibrugar, Binaya Baidya Silapathar and Noren Parali Dimo. In a summer day long regional workshop on Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 was held at Srimanta Shankardev International Auditorium Kalakshetra in Guwahati. Speaking on the occasion, Minister of State for Urban Development Pijosh Hazarika appealed to all the town committee chairmen and other members to work towards a clean and green state so that urban local bodies of this region secure a good rank in Swatch Sarvekshan 2020. Hazarika also took stock of the work progress in different town committees in Assam. State Mission Director Swach Bharat Mission U, Assam delivered the World Welcome Address Swach Sarvekshan is a cleanliness survey to rank cities, towns on cleanliness. The workshop was participated by urban local bodies, chairmen and other members from Assam and all other northeastern states. Assam Social Welfare Department, in collaboration with Sishu Sarathi, organized the Media Interaction Program under the Program for Awareness Generation on Disability Act 2016 to create widespread awareness on the state law in the state. Through the me Media Interaction Program, an appeal was made to Media Fraternity for support in taking up real life issues of access to rights of persons with disability and highlight key Anyone challenges and gaps in implementation of RPWP Act. Guests attended RKJ Hilali, Commissioner for Persons with Disability, Samudra Gupta Kashyap, Senior Journalist, Keteki Bordoloi, Executive Director, Sishil Sarathi, were present in this meet. <laughs> Army Chief General Bipin Rawat on Monday said Pakistan has reactivated the Balakot terror camp very recently and about 500 infiltrators were waiting to sneak into India. The response to the terror camp getting functional again may go beyond India's previous response by way of airstrike in February, he told reporters at the Officers Training Academy, Chennai. Stating that Balakot has been reactivated by Pakistan very recently, he said that the terror camp beyond the border has become operational again while answering a question on new terror camps. Balakot has suffered damage and was destroyed by the cross-border strike and this is why people have got away from there and now it has been reactivated, he said. The chief of the army's staff earlier inaugurated the young leader's training wing at the OTA. Social Welfare Minister Nepcha Kim Chen today inaugurated the One Stop Center OSC Imphal West at Working Women's Hospital EEM A Hamak Marak Singtham Lekai. It is the sixth one stop center inaugurated in Manipur. Addressing the gathering, as Chief Guest Manipur Nepcha Kim Chen said that the newly inaugurated OSC Imphal West was opened under the directive of Ministry of Child and Welfare De Development for the welfare of those women in distress or affected by any form of violence in private and public places. The center will facilitate integrated range of services including medical, legal, rescue and response services, police services and psychological and social counseling support to women in distress. Nemcha further informed that the ministry already approved for the launch of one stop center in all the 16 districts and the remaining districts will be inaugurated within October this year. Indian and Thailand Army showed their skill during the 12th edition Indo Thailand Joint Exercise Maitri at Umroy Military Station in Meghalaya on Monday. Army of both the countries exhibited their different skills and technique applied during operation. The two-week-long exercise comprising 45 soldiers from each country began on 16 September and will be concluded on 30th September. In cricket, South Africa beat India by nine wickets in the third and final T20 International in Bangalore last night. Riding on skipper Quinton De Knox unbeaten 79 of 52 balls, the Proteas managed to level the three-match series 1-1. Batting first at M. Chindaswamy Stadium, India made 134 for 9 on a batting-friendly track with opener Shikhar Dhawan scoring 36. Four-day-long Yonex Sunrise Northeast Zone Interstate Open Badminton Championship 2019 concluded on Sunday at Indoor Gymnasium Hall, Belzor Gangtok. A total of 160 players from the eight northeastern states participated among those only Mizoram, Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh reached the final. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang was present as a chief guest in the concluding day program. 
championship was organized by Sikkim Badminton Association in collaboration with Badminton Association of India. In the team championship senior category, Assam emerged as the winner with Manipur as runners-up. Nagaland and Mizoram back the joint third position. In junior, Manipur won the team championship with Assam as runners-up. Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram came third in position jointly. Indian canoeing and kayaking chiefs coach Sanjay Benual today visited Saran Beel in Morigao district of Assam. Inspecting the Saran Beel, Benual said the Saran Beel can be transformed into an international water sport venue by developing its infrastructure scientifically. Meanwhile, practicing in Saran Beel, four Assam players were able to win gold and silver medals in different events of canoeing and kayaking held in Bhopal this year. And now the weather report. Satellite imagery over the north is says that rain or thunder shower accompanied by lightning is likely to occur at many isolated places of the region during the next 24 hours. The temperatures recorded today at some of the state capitals of the region are as follows. Guwahati recorded a maximum of 31.4 degrees Celsius and minimum of 24.8 degrees Celsius. Itanaga 23.8 and 22.5. Koima 26 and 17.6. Imphal 27.3 and 20.1. Aizal 28.3 and 20.5. Agarla 32.6 and 24.6, Shillong 24.9 and 15.9, and Gangtok recorded a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius and minimum of 16 degrees Celsius. Before we wind up the bulletin, a recap of the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls for a decisive fight against terrorism at Howdy Modi event in Houston. Modi to address UN General Assembly. Manipur Chief Minister N. B. Ren Singh says the growth rate of gross state domestic product doubled since last year. Meghalaya Urban Affairs Infrastructure Development initiates organizing garbage fishing competition at Nongpo to clean drainage. Nine persons died and 15 injured in a major road accident on NH37 at Pastra Sol on the Dimo police station of Sipsagar district. And in cricket, South Africa beat India by nine wickets in the third and final T20 international in Bengaluru last night. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.